I love working for New York Project as a trustee director. And uh, we do develop friendship, um, partnership, and working friendship as well. A small piece of grit in an oyster irritates the oyster so it makes a pearl. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to make pearls. Everybody has a pearl within them. We try to see what it is and to bring it out of them. Because we all have dreams and John makes it come true. So, so the Yosta project is, is about changing, pe changing uh, people's disabilities, lives and filling their dreams. Who we are as disabled people. I mean, could you imagine in the past, if, say, a hundred years ago, disabled people then had been able to tell us something about their lives at the time? What a story we would have got. Instead, of course, they were put out of the way. They were completely, most, or a lot of them put into workhouses or some other kind of institution, put out of the way completely. Well, I'm glad to say it's different today, and the Paralympics especially has given the public at large a different view of disability, and we want to keep this going. I'm working on the Our Histories project. Um, I come into Oyster uh, also in a work capacity as well because I'm a hate crime coordinator, so I've actually used Oyster as a resource for, in my work. Um, which is really good. The heritage project we're doing is to get a deeper understanding of other people's disabilities and their um, their lives. That we've just witnessed the most fantastic Paralympic Games and that's really inspired us to look at performance and disability both in sport and in the arts. Uh, so we will be looking at drama and uh, the stage Film. First of all, what I did in the our history um, with Jim and Sarah Clifford, who's a writer, we did a radio play. My name is Philip and I am taking part in the Our Histories, Our Heritage Group with Oyster Project. It is very interesting and I have enjoyed researching disability heritage with my colleagues at Oyster. I am looking forward to creating more art-based documents, photographs and the film we plan to make. A good thing is this small machine which I use for the project and helps me communicate. When we went to the archives at Brighton, I found it was a lovely experience finding out how people lived further back. This sort of mass observation archive um, has a lot of uh, observations but not a lot from disabled people um, as a group en masse and this is what we're going to be doing. It's about our history, our heritage, who we are as disabled people. Of 1901 Brighton Workhouse which is now the Brighton General Hospital. I was shocked to see that there was a lot of people put in there by local family, I saw local names, local well-known, rare names, put in there, obviously because they just wanted, they were just embarrassed at having a disabled person in the family and wanted to put them out of the way. Well, I'm glad to say that I think we've come on quite a bit since then, but we've still a long one to go. The uh, Heritage Project uh, makes the debates and conversations and make, it makes us think or have the chance to think slightly deeper about changing our attitudes, other people's attitudes, attitudes in the past, attitudes now, all that stuff. There's a real deep understanding by the members who've taken part into their heritage as disabled people and that's been very exciting to see how that's developed, how their horizons have widened and how their knowledge has increased. When I was born, um, the nurse took one look at me, my mum said, and said, oh, you'll have to put that in a home, or the words to that effect, because they thought I was Down syndrome. And in those days, they didn't use uh, politically correct terminology. They actually um, called, said I was a Mongol. And my mother said, well, actually, my daughter has Mongolian heritage. So that's why her eyes are shaped the way they are, and she looks the way she does. And for me... <laughs> When my mum told me this years and years later, I remember thinking, oh my God, if my mother wasn't the person she was, I could have been put in a home. 
uh, where you ended up spending 75, 80 years of your life there from the sort of the day you can toddle to the day you die. And, and for me, that's why I think doing this project, the Our Histories project, what people have got to do is they can compare it to what the history was that's already there and what it is now to what it will be in the future. Going back to the history, is um, we, we still have the attitudes are totally different back then, but we still have it now. And that's what makes me curious enough to expect this is going to happen to us and only bad things. And when it comes to the Paralympics, when I watch the news uh, about um, cutting people with disability off benefits, that is not fair. I, I believe that if we can't understand our history, we'll never be able to change things for the future. One of the things I've been looking at and I've been collating information is about the, the changes in the benefit and welfare system, how it affects disabled people and how it's affecting me. And I've been writing about that. Um, so, it, and that will go into the, the project. In 40 years' time, what will our welfare system look like to how it looks with what we've been doing here at Oyster, you know? Who we are as disabled people. The Our Histories, Our Heritage Project started in an earlier project which we did with the local East Sussex Record Office where we examined the archives of Chaley Heritage. From there we had the confidence and the vision to take on a bigger project and we feel that the same will happen with the current project. It will underpin and support for future projects and we really look forward to developing the skills and the knowledge that we've gained through our histories, our heritage. I had the opportunity to work on a project previously to this one and it, this one gives me the opportunity to move on from that project and, and do more learning of the history so that I can then help others to understand and go forward. The original one was we looked at Chaley and then compared it with today which is quite you know straightforward history whereas this one it's not really a, so much about history as at making our present into history for the future. The diary project was that once a month we would um, have a large piece of paper and everybody would put something down that they'd done the month previous or what they were doing today. So, and it was huge. Mapping our history, not your history, but our history if that makes any sense. Yeah. It was a way of mapping our history and what we've been doing through the month. Our histories is um, about having leaving a record that we were here, our footprints, I guess. Um, I met Suchi, um, oh, it must be a good few months ago now, and we through this we became really good friends and we're actually going on to do a maths course together. My daughter's an adult with learning difficulties and on the year that she actually left her school, the opened up the colleges for the first time to adults with learning difficulties. So she had a privilege of extra education that others hadn't had. And it's done her the world of good, actually, because she finished with that. She did three different courses over three years. And when she finished those courses, she went straight down the job centre and got a job within two weeks. But we're very, very keen on the work-like work, work -like experience aspect that we can offer to people with disability for a greater sense of self-worth and a greater sense of belonging and contributing to the community. My late wife and I were all, I've always been not liking the idea of getting mixed in any kind of disabled group because we always felt it makes you feel more disabled. In fact, here in Oyster, it's completely different. They have a very positive view of disability. You're not allowed to self-pity. We have a lot of fun here, a lot of humour, and it really is helping you to make the most of your life and do whatever you can to the best. I think we know we're laying the foundations for further work. We're developing our technological skills, our creative skills, and our intellectual skills, and that's very exciting. And we hope in the new year to have a very exciting 
video film project as part of the Our History is Our Heritage, which will underpin and support future work which we hope to do. That's all for now. See you soon. Our heritage. Who we are as disabled people. Because we all have dreams. He, he's able to communicate. We have a lot. Mm. Even though, although we've all got different disabilities and we look at the yeah. world differently, in the end, what we have got is a disability, whatever its name is. Yeah. I think, from my point of view, Oyster is the most positive disability group I've ever been involved in. So it's do you think that's fed by projects like this? Yes, it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's about doing things, about yes. doing good things. Yes. It's like about doing things for ourselves as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's for the group, but also for Another one of my sayings? If it's not fun, we ain't doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Do people think that they've made firm friendships? Yeah. yeah. Yes, we have. Yeah, yeah we have, yeah. yeah.